revolutionary and Lord Protector of England, but I believe him to have been a homosexual. Ooh, get you. Free with tomorrow's Daily Mail. It's your own DVD to keep. Totally unnecessary film sequels with unnecessary sequels to classics including Titanic 2, The Day After. Featuring the second to last of the Mohicans. What done to it? Grew it back. What's that for? Felt like a prick. And the return of the snowman. That's totally unnecessary film sequels free with tomorrow's Daily Mail. New from Phony, the Place Lab, with great games including Teenage Spot Squeezer. Phony. Once you pop, you can't stop. Landlords, does this look familiar? Is your pub, club, or bar as boring as this? What you need is the all new Pub Conversation Jukebox. It's got loads of pub conversation topics. What would win in a fight? A rattlesnake or an eagle? It's guaranteed to get any pub conversational party started. Featuring the classics. Can Lampard and Gerard play together? Who's the best, Connery or Moore? Who's the fittest one in Girls Allow? Is it just me or a wagon wheel's getting smaller? What would you do to a pedo if he touched your kid? The Pub Conversation Jukebox. Buy it now and get free barmaid shut-up lines. Absolutely free. How much for a smile, love? My wife don't understand me. Can I have a sex on the beach? I don't really find a bitter. What time do you finish, eh? Yeah. Order yours now. What do you think you're doing, big boy? Clean yourself a chef? You're rubbish, yes? Look at my balls. Act like a man, a piece of shit. I'm like useless. I speak French. Well, look. A new fragrance from Gordon Ramsay. Yes. Oh. This Friday at 9 on Channel 4. <sighs> when Harry Potter met Sally. Cripes. New on HBO. It's the US remake of the classic British sitcom, Allo Allo. Updating the racial stereotypes to the Vietnam War. Get ready, it's Harrow Harrow. <laughs> oh, listen very carefully. I shall say this all at once. What a Vietnam War? If it not ends soon, business never gets back to normal. <laughs> let, let, do not upset our American GI customer! Shut up! You stupid woman! <laughs> oh, Rene, <sighs> me love you long time. When can me stop being prostitute and go and live in country with you? Soon, my darling. Now, keep your voice down and go fillet another American soldier. <laughs> More and more people are having sex with liars who are passing themselves off as fit people. Cellulite. It's getting harder and harder to tell who's who. Tiny cock. So use your common sense. But you said... And don't wake up with a minger. What is it, mother? Have you received news concerning cleverly hidden airmen? What's that? <laughs> oh. Will someone please tell Ping Pong Girl to shut the bloody door? <laughs> Hero Hero returns next week. After the break on the Literal Channel, it's Black Adder. And later tonight, it's our movie, The Real Pelican Brief. I put it to you that my client is innocent. Here we go, lads. Cheers. Cheers. Total first pint reimbursement. Hi there. Having a spot of bother? A bit, but it's fine, really. I've nearly got it. Come on, let me give you a hand with it. No, there's no need. It's fine. Really, it's no bother. I'd like to help a pretty young lady in distress. <laughs> Thank you. It's very kind of you to say. So, what is it? Uh, flat tyre, eh? Yeah, I think so. Right. Okay. Mom! This is Sir Francis Drake, Vice Admiral in the defeat of the Spanish Armada and Pacific Explorer. Yes, definitely a bender. Of course, embarking on such a vociferous enterprise as Love Island was an exciting, somewhat 
hazardous undertaking for me. But the emotions of the wondrous occasion swept me away. Now, my conduct may have offended my fellow islanders, but I was righteous and upstanding enough to realize that my true self was totally incorruptible by the rigors of this so-called reality television. Did you get all that? I think so. Let me just type it out. I fucking ate that love island, didn't I? Loads of fucking birds on it. I got my end away, didn't I? It was brilliant. And that twat, he right deserved the kick in, didn't he, eh? Hmm. Yeah, perfect. Coming to stores soon, the 9-11 playset. Learn to mastermind your very own mission of terror and enjoy it again and again. Yours to own soon. The 9-11 playset, just $29.99. It's too big to miss. Not a lot of people know this, <laughs> but Michael Caine was actually in a previously unseen film, playing a 60s-style pimp. Let's take a look at the clip. Bloody hell, Marie. Where you been? Each client only gets an hour with you. I've got loads of pop stars waiting for you. You're my number one girl. I know. What was I supposed to do? That's the Beatles in there. I just sucked off the Beatles. The Beatles? But you're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Berlin, 1929, and a new member of the Nazi party is ruffling feathers. Oh, Adolf Hitler employs the month again, but I'm Wanker. Adolf is always with the ass kissing. Always kissing up to the Führer. Maybe he thinks that one day he will be the Führer, huh? An asshole like Adolf Hitler, the Führer, I think not. Yeah, you know the office junior. Who? Jaime Finkelstein. Yeah, Jaime saw Hitler in the gym changing rooms. Jaime said that Hitler has only got one ball. Only one ball? Yeah. I know. Jaime sent an email telling all the office that Hitler's other testicle was in the Albert Hall. <laughs> <laughs> Hitler will make Jaime pay for that one. Okay. Watch this. Oh, nein. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's time to experiment with a new look, huh? New from Phony, the Play Slab, a totally new generation of home gaming with great games including Cocaine Taker. Phony, it's all you need to make your nose bleed. Whoa, Bishop hang gliding at the highest altitude ever. This guy's amazing. Let's go to the hang glide cam now. Where's the engine? Whoa, I'm going down. I'm going down. I'm going down. What are you doing here, Marissa? I'm a bad boy. From the wrong side of the tracks, you know that. It's not going to work, Marissa. I just had to see you, Ryan. I can no longer deny my feelings. Even if it means a life living on the wrong side of the tracks. You mean it. Take me, Ryan. Ryan, is your lace undone? Always. I'm a bad boy. Do it up. I'm with a double knot. Just gotta wash my hands. Seven times. Hurry up, Marissa. I'm a bad boy, and I don't like waiting. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do it. Please, please, wankers! Fucking slag! Spunk! The OCDOC, coming soon to T4. Here I am, in a very privileged position to see some of the best tits available to the British Twitcher. Oh. Yes, fantastic tits. Such a privilege. <laughs> You're gonna need a new fan belt, love. How much will that cost? Oh, expensive then. No, you just trapped my fingers in the bonnet. Uh, that really hurts. Just a little bit more. Come on. You missed the bit. Where? <laughs> Everyone who touches it dies. What the hell are we gonna do? It's not gonna stop till we're all dead. It's the toaster. It's Foley. Coming soon. Faulty Toaster, a lame horror film company production. All right, I'll have a look at it. Good morning, madam. DCI Bishop, Nursery Crime Squad. Are you the wicked queen? Yes. Why do you ask? I'm here on behalf of that young lady in the car, madam, Miss Snow White. 
I've never seen this girl. What's this got to do with me? It seems Miss White was drugged and left out in the forest to the mercy of some dwarves. I still don't see what this has got to do with me. We've checked with your doctor and it seems that he's had something taken from his surgery. Is that Rahipno? Uh, I... You nonce! Take her away, boys. What? No! 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 Mirror, mirror. On the wall. Who's the guiltiest of them all? I ain't saying nothing till I speak to my lawyer. The Nursery Crime Squad, Sundays at 8 on ITV1. This is Sir Winston Churchill. From this picture, it's clear to me that he loves it in the rusty sheriff's patch. Ten years since we started to play, but some members have gone away. We like to sack one every few days, cause we don't like bitches who get in our way. Pop star, she thinks she's it, but we think behind her back and drop her like shit. And they cry and say why we say get lost like it's our band, okay? Cause we're two evil bitches who want all of the girls dead. Yes, we do, boy. Yeah, it's true, boy. So if you try and join our band, we'll smack you in the fucking head. Cause it's true, boy. Yes, it's true, boy. David Starkey, and this is Henry VIII, husband to no fewer than six women. However, I believe him to have been a right royal shirt lifter. your own DVD to keep Britain's favourite anxiety dreams featuring semi-naked at work. <laughs> <laughs> Including overslept for an exam. OK, stop writing. Your time is up. <sighs> With the ever popular All Your Teeth Fall Out. And including Britain's worst nightmare, Charlie Uchia moves in next door. We're here, this money house, guys. <sighs> That's Britain's favourite anxiety dreams, free with tomorrow's Daily Mail. I'm David Starkey. This is Sir Thomas More, lawyer, statesman. And had he and Dale Winton have been friends, they would have probably gone shopping with Silver Black. A new season on ITV1. What a state. We're never going to crack this case. Here comes the DCR. OK, boys. What have we got here, then? His wife found him like this about an hour ago, Gov. She got up for breakfast, and then she found him like this, dead. <laughs> what a way to go, face down in your frosties. I'm baffled, Gov. I mean, who'd do such a thing? I'll see. Well, it's perfectly clear to me. We're looking... for a serial killer. John Le Carre's The Pond Detective coming soon to ITV1. If you're tired of losing your way but don't want a second class sat nav, why not get Superstar Sat Nav? Directions from your favourite celebrities, the new exclusive all star voice, the creepy kid's finger from The Shining. Turn left, turn left, red run, red run, red run. Superstar Sat Nav. Only available on the internet. I'm gonna kill you, Danny. <laughs> Confess! Confess! Get back in there! Coming soon to ITV2, Guantanamo Baywatch. 
more and more people are having sex with people who are going to turn into their parents. Bridget Nag. And it's getting harder and harder to tell who's who. Bald alcoholic. So use your common sense and don't wake up with someone who's going to become an old minger. You said... Don't let them turn into their parents. He's one of the busiest and most successful actors this country has ever produced. But most people don't even know his name. He worked with Daniel Day-Lewis on There Will Be Blood and is currently on Channel 4 starring in My Name Is Earl. But David Martin still could have passed you in the street today. Not that he's bothered. As the film legend told me when I caught up with him earlier this week in Hollywood. And he told me he wasn't bothered about the recent Oscar snub. Of course I was upset when Daniel didn't thank me in his Oscar speech. To be frank, I was hoping he'd wear me to the ceremony, but I'm a professional, you know. David Martin has been in the business for years, making his film debut alongside Burt Reynolds in 70s comedy Smokey and the Bandit, before winning a BAFTA playing with Robert Downey Jr. as Charlie Chaplin's moustache. Oh, yes, yes, I love working with Dickie Attenborough. He knew my father well. Father acted as well, you know, and worked on all the silence with the real Charlie Chaplin. It all comes full circle, doesn't it? <laughs> of course, those shocking rumours of David's father being associated with fascism have never been proved. But there are still some who believe he was a Nazi. Father, a Nazi, that's absolute bollocks. You've evaded us again, Jack. Oh, bollocks. Jack the Lead Ripper, humming soon on Zone Horror. New from Phony, The Play Slab, a totally new generation of home gaming with great games including Supermarket Checkout Girls, only on The Phony. Why don't you check it out? What a way to go. Kill while doing your job. Yeah, here comes the DCI. Okay, boys. What have we got here? Male, 39, name Richard Price. Was an ice cream man by trade. Some local kids found him. Quite a mess, the... Killer covered him in ice cream, then hundreds and thousands, strawberry sauce and flakes. Looks like a revenge killing. Maybe a war over ice cream turf. They take this thing very seriously. Mm. None of the above, boys. You could call off hunting for a murderer because this man was not murdered. Not murdered? But how did he die? Oh, let me guess. He was an ice cream man, so what, he'd die in cold blood. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to put this body on ice? <laughs> <laughs> Is this a cold case, sir? <laughs> you can take the piss, lads, but look at the clues. Those hundreds and thousands. This man wasn't murdered. He's topped himself. It's the pun detective. For fuck's sake. That's it, now throw it. No, it's all right, he won't bite you. We'll do it together, OK? You know, ready? One... Two, three, three! Yeah, good lad. Oh! More and more girls are having sex in order to get a baby, just for the benefits. What's a baby? But you don't want to be a dad. You just want a shag. So use your common sense and find yourself a slag. Now on Five, it's time for some Class A drama. Prison Break with Amy and Blake. <laughs> Previously on Prison Break. No one else. No fucking singing. Amy! Blakey! Oh, Amy! Oh, Blakey! What are you doing in this damn hell? I got him put in prison by the man, didn't I? I attacked a paparazzi with Mr. Leto. Blam, blam, blam! But I did it on purpose, though. Do you know why? Is this easier to score inside? No, my darling husband. So I can break us out of here! Oh, Amy! Here. What's with the tax, bye? It's my plan at Wormwood Scrub. Yeah, but we're in Pentonville. Oh, shit. I know I shouldn't have had it done when I was off my tits. Never mind, we've still got a file. Let's get out of this dump. All right. <laughs> We're out, Blakey. Freedom. Right, let's go and score a shitload of drugs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bollocks. What? Oh, no, no, no. Not again, Blakey. In next week's prison break. What are we going to do now, Blake? Shut it, you two, or I'll throw you in my docky. You sick bastards. You won't break us. Welcome back. You're watching the tennis on a sexy sport channel. Lovely. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at that. Look, straight over the net. Oh, and my goodness, she's hit it straight back. <laughs> yes, really well done. She's actually hit the ball with that big, heavy racket. God love her. Look, she's having a go. And she's won. Oh, oh, oh good girl. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. And the uh, slightly smaller than the 
men's trophy will go to her for polishing. <laughs> you can only imagine what her husband must be feeling right now. You're watching the Sexist Sports Channel. I'm off it. No, seriously, I'm off it now. Yeah, I'm clean. Oh, fuck it. Give us the line. Oh, yeah. Addicts you. The scent of Peter Doherty. It's the pun detective. Yeesh. What a mess. I mean, how are we going to solve this case, Inuk? They are going to send over a detective from Ingerland. He is a forensic expert. Here he comes now. It's the pun detective. Look here, boys. What have you got for me? Female, 28, born and lived here in Amsterdam. Cause of death seems to be some kind of spontaneous combustion. Of the feet. Well, I'm glad I hot-footed it over then. Eh? Well, this woman seems to have died from... Uh... Stop! I can solve this case. Look, I was just about this. This uh, woman. It's simple. Defeat. She has popped her clogs. Don't be so bloody ridiculous, man. She's had a heart attack. A massive bender. Scientists of today suggested that the Tanorexia virus, the distressing condition where people turn orange, had its origins in Newcastle. The disease first became noticeable last year in Liverpool and is thought to be spreading across England. Further cases have been reported in Birmingham and even as far as Essex. Tanorexia, which was first thought to be a female complaint, has now officially claimed its first male victim and is spreading through the showbiz world. The disease has now been recognised as a pandemic and can affect anyone living within a three-mile radius of the tanning shop or boots the chemist. Government advice is to stay indoors, eat plenty of fresh fruit and avoid dating a Premier League footballer. <laughs>